Whoa, guys, this party city has thrown away a whole bunch of candy. They just sliced open the bag. So I have a little bag of unopened candies for myself, <laughs> but that's crazy. Guys, I'm at Party City. Holy crap. There's so much like kid stuff in here. I have to get it out real quick. Holy crap. Barnes and Nobles. Finding some Valentine's Day cards still. Oh no. So yeah, tons more of a Valentine's Day cards from Barnes and Nobles. I think there's another box. and I'll probably just donate these because I don't need all these guys I'm at Dollar General again and they're throwing away more Christmas stuff so these are boxes full of clothing boxes let me grab them and see what else is in there so just filled my trunk with all these gift boxes from Dollar General there's Christmas ones, there's plain ones so many So this is everything I pulled from the Dollar General dumpster. Um, tissue wrapping papers, some socks, um, coloring books, and just random things, sharpies, chapsticks, a toy. All right guys, so I'm cleaning out my car, getting everything out, getting ready to show you what I found. So these are the rest of the Valentine's Day cards that I found at Barnes and Nobles. I showed you in that clip. So I have four boxes of brand new Valentine's cards, really cute ones, like different ones. Like look at this one, ready? Listen. Like a farting baby, I have no idea. And then here's that crazy Party City find, you guys. It's a box full of just random things. I have like Valentine's decor, I have Finding Nemo napkins, toys, hair glitter, tape, furry pins, cupcake holders, colorful hair extensions, glitter, necklaces, lip glosses, so many of these still in the packaging, little toy wallets, bows, tiaras, magic wands, rubber bands, stickers, like so many things. These little bouncy um, balloons that you know go like that. This is just cool. We got fingernail polish, we got headbands, so much stuff just thrown away for no reason, you guys. This could definitely been donated. Tablecloths, markers, um, so much. Look at this, an Olaf frozen potato sack, pencils, hair clips. Hey guys, I'm at Ulta, I'm finding some stuff. Today was supposed to be suit box day, but I don't see any boxes. Sorry guys, I'm outside. Excuse the noise in the background, cars driving by. But I had to pull over just to show you what I found at Ulta. I found all these IT Cosmetics display brushes still on the stands. So three of them, you got a black, silver handle. Yeah, so quite a bit of IT Cosmetic brushes. I'm at my Ulta. I want to get in there and get that bag because it looks like there might be something in there. I checked yesterday and the mail truck had already come, but I'm gonna get it and look. <laughs> yes, I knew it. Ooh, okay, so looks like we have some palettes. Morphe testers. The past couple of days they have been throwing out Morphe. Oh, that's in really good condition. So we have that palette. Let's see. We have a previous place. Oh, I scratched it, but it's in pretty good condition. There's a few palettes in here. Another Juvia's place. A little messy, but in good condition. Another one, Warrior by Juvia's Place. Uh, one's broken, but there's still a ton of eyeshadows. Two more palettes. So Morphe and Juvia's Place. Oh, I thought I heard something. Um, 
35G. And then what's this? Oh, the Jacqueline Hill palette. I'm sure it looks like. Jacqueline Hill. Oh, volume 2? This is her new one. Oh, okay. So only one eyeshadow is a little bit messed up. This is her her brand new one that they just like released. Awesome. Cool. I can't believe that. Just the black is ruined. Oh, God, I gotta get out of here. All right, guys, so we found some testers. Here's the bag from the other trip that I did also. A few more palettes. I was really surprised to find all these this day. This is the Zulu by Juvia's Place tester. I couldn't believe you guys. I, could, I really, really thought this was just gonna be the case. This is a Tarte Holiday Package. Tarte, you can see the Tarte logo right there. And it has these like four little squares that you can take out. Little drawer that also pulls out. And there's just a little lip gloss, a little man eater mascara, and then another palette. After doing some reading, this is actually a portable like palette to bring with you. And what you do is you're feeling one of these little squares. One day you go ahead and put it there and it's magnetic and you have a case for these little slithers so that's really cool so this bag is actually a good bag um i found all this that day this is a lancome and that's the inside barely even touched it must have been like a palette for valentine's day it's really pretty I found a few testers. These are the NYX foundations and deeper skin tones. I will be passing these along to somebody that can use these. One more. Also found a little NARS lip gloss in the shade Orgasm. This is so cool. I found the KK Beauty perfume. I'm not sure which one this is. It's the crystal shape perfume and this is the one in the mint green color. It's not full but it's got enough to get a quite a few wears out of it. It's obviously a tester. There was no lid but I love finding perfumes. It's one of my favorite things to find. Another perfume I found that day is this Chance Chanel perfume. There is not a lot in there. Like, I don't even know if you can tell. But yeah, there's not a lot in there. I've never owned a Chanel perfume, so I'm going to use this. Uh, and it's a tester, obviously, but there's still enough tries in there, you guys. Like, of course I'm going to use that. <laughs> this was also in the trash. It's just a Becca pop socket. Why not? They were definitely throwing away testers because I found the Too Faced Melted Matte gingerbread liquid lipstick along with the Too Faced gingerbread extra spicy palette and that's what that one looks like it's overall in pretty good condition there's a few nicks um swatches in that one but overall really pretty palette and the last few things are just these this is a holiday collection palette from Too Faced. It was a snowman originally. I found this before, but just found the one piece of it today. You just swipe it over and it's like a little blush palette. So that's cute. A mini Nubian by Juvia's Place palette. Just a mini palette. It's super cute. There's still a ton of product in there. And then the last thing from that haul is this Too Faced Holiday Palette. This is a set, but I only found one. And this one is Totally Bananas. Just a cute little eyeshadow palette with a blush at the end. Not bad, you guys. Not bad. Hey, guys. I'm in Bath and Body Works. There's some bags in here. I'm going to grab them. And keep looking. Hey guys, I just stopped by a Bath and Body Works. I have a bag in my car. It's a little messy, so I have gloves on. And then I also found this bag full of plug-in warmers. They're all used, but they're pretty. 
and then one candle was in this bag. This is a Japanese cherry blossom. It's just broken, but it's in good condition. I also have two more bags stapled up. Let's see what's inside. I have a broken candle and it was burnt. And this one is in mahogany coconut. And one more with damage. Let's open it up. Oh, and that one's pretty burnt. I'm not gonna keep that one. So it's gonna go right back in there. Let's go through this bag real quick because I've seen like some hand sanitizers in the bottom. So we have some samples of hand sanitizers. See, so that's why I have gloves on. This bag is actually messy today. What's in here? Nothing. Just lots of tester hand sanitizers. Looks like there's some soap spilled out in here. More hand sanitizer is messy, but you can just wash that off. Oh, here's a soap. Still pretty full. Broken bunny. Hand sanitizer. Another soap. That's where all the mess is coming from. And then we got a warmer refill and comfort so that's everything that was in that trash bag hey guys i'm at tj maxx they broke a whole bunch of glass a lot of already done stuff i have a little bag full of some stuff that i was able to save but yeah it's not a lot that one's not broken i'll take it yeah that sucks that they did that because i would love that bowl <laughs> To actually save a few Ray Dunn dishes. So I'll show you everything once I get home. This is TJ Maxx. I did not think I would find any, but I did. I actually was able to save some of these Ray Dunn um, dishes. This one says Dash. They were in sets of three. So there was a big bowl, this bowl, and a tiny bowl. And I was able to save the bowls that were in the middle. So I have two of these dashes. And then I found this stir bowl, which was not broken as well. And yeah, I love Ray Dunn. So I'm excited to find those. I also found like Valentine's mugs. They had them on clearance for $3 and then just tossed them out. Really cute gnomes that just say love. Another one and he says, be mine. Also found this little tree bush thingy. Obviously the planter that it was in was broken, but you can just repot these into something else. Some more random little things. This is like a cute little snowflake mug. And then I found this, I think it's a bottom of a plant. I, I have no idea. You can use this for whatever you want. I'm going to use it for like putting jewelry in like you just take your rings off put your wow it like does some weird little effect but yeah i probably use it for like a jewelry dish it's pretty big to go next to my bed and it was eight dollars and they threw him out but that's actually really pretty and then the last two things from tj maxx that i was able to save because they were not open are these cute little valentine's dog treats so canine treats it's just valentine's doggy treats so cute little heart that says wolf fresh bake in the usa they were 450 and i just tossed it out and here's another one i don't have any dogs but my mom does so i'll be giving these to her and our little fur brothers 